Hello, this is another one in my series of Hornby 00 maintenance. Today I'd like to discuss cleaning. Okay, here we have a 062 I'm going to clean, but first I'd like to talk about some of the uh, cleaning materials I'm using. Uh, lighter fluid. I use this as we, as we've discussed earlier for cleaning uh, cleaning the track wheels and pickups. It's very good for that. But uh, I suggest you only ever use it on a cloth and not directly or on a on a bud, something like that. Um, it might remove paint or printing. So like any cleaning. Uh, fluid so always always check that they're safe on whatever you're cleaning first okay the uh, this is a bit of a rough body anyway but I'm going to show you what I normally do I don't always clean it this thoroughly when I when I first purchase it I will clean it like this first I get a bit of paper I slip it behind the handrails if it has handrails and then use a track rubber and you can you can take off the rust without damaging the body any you just need to spend a bit more time on it then uh, Michael Foster in his, uh, in his book recommends using pledge and I've been using this also for quite a long time and uh, it seems to work very well so uh, this is just the uh, uh, natural just pledge furniture polish it says and I just put a little skirt onto a onto a can like that and then I uh, then I just use a I use a soft toothbrush just dab a bit on and then uh, then you can work it in to all the corners. After that, I'll uh, get a dry one, and well, first I will, first of all, I will wipe it off the the, the larger areas, and then I'll get a, a dry one, and then just uh, this will take it, brush it out from, and polish it off from all the, uh, just dry it off you. Yeah like this. I normally wear gloves when I handle locos but, uh, even if they're not very good and you can see that that area is just coming up nice if you have a, a loco that's uh, in a lot better quality and has a matte finish I would suggest trying a little area inside first to see what effect it has but you could you could use uh, you could still use page but I would just the the tiniest amount and then just sort of so it doesn't uh, really wet anything it just you can see it's not you can't even see it going on but it, it does clean it better than nothing at all and then say again you can buff it up and polish it that works for all the rolling stock pretty much the same but I'd only clean it like that for the, for the first time I, I got the uh, local, or maybe once every few years. It's uh, it's not something you do you need to do very often. Normally you can just get a a makeup brush. Uh, don't tell the missus, but and that acts as a that's very good for just the regular dusting down. It'll take uh, the dust off. Or I have uh, this type of uh, duster. This is supposed to be uh, 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 supposed to pick up the dust um, or the static, and uh, you can you can dust your um, your locos and and rolling stock without removing it from the track. Or I suppose you could use a, a feather duster, which is also has a light touch. And the uh, the chassis, um, I don't. You don't have to disassemble it to clean it, of course. But uh, 
I'd often go in with the with the brush also and just get the wheels a little bit. You can see that the brush is getting quite dirty from. And then you can just clean off wherever, wherever you reach with just it's still got a, a touch of pledge on it. Okay, I think that takes care of uh, most of cleaning. Um, I found this. Uh, it's uh, it says it uh, it cleans, restores, and waxes your car. You can buy this in different colours. This is white because my car's white, but I found it works uh, works very good on uh, the white roofs of. Uh, of the rolling stock you can see these are uh, well they're a lot better than uh, they were originally even the uh, ones that go crazing it's, it tends to help that it does have a gentle uh, polishing uh, cutting effect so you should not should be very careful on the on the sharp corners of the roofs not to uh, rub too hard on uh, pre-war buildings, I, uh, I use this. It's just a cream cleaner, and uh, I just put a little bit on a cotton bud, and you can do the areas like this. Don't go near any of the uh, printing. It, it will fit, fetch the printing off. But some of these buildings are in uh, pretty poor condition and uh, this will uh, fetch it off most of it the the, the, the usual grime just be uh, very careful and uh, use a damp cloth to uh, to remove it afterwards okay I don't think there's much else the uh, the general layout I would uh, I would uh, just uh, take everything off and vacuum clean it maybe once a year spring clean and that's it thank you very much for watching this video